Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at some budget Bluetooth speakers. Now, I got about five or six different speakers on deck. All of these speakers are going to run you less than 70 bucks. Also, I got all of them from Amazon.com. I will throw the links in the description. I'll show you the website real quick. Just look at the price. I'm not going to read through all of the, <laughs> all of the specs and all that because we want to get through this quick. All right, so let's get right to action. First, we got the Oontz Angle. Now, a lot of people been hitting me up asking me to check this one out. So we're going to check it out. Amazon.com is the website. Y'all know the drill. I'll throw the link up in the description. All right, and also I'll start from the cheapest to the most expensive one. Okay, so this is the Oontz Angle. This one is going to run you $27.89. So you're looking at about less than 30 bucks for this one. Now, this one does come in a bunch of colors. You got black, blue, green, red, gray. Nice little choice right there. Pause this and read it for yourself if you want, but let's just breeze through. I'll just scan through and see if there's anything we need to talk about. 12 hours of playing time. Connect to your Bluetooth device. High quality auto stylish design. Okay, basically, a nice budget Bluetooth speaker right here. Fellas, activate beast mode and leave it on to the end of the video. And this time, don't let me forget. I right, don't let me forget to deactivate beast mode. Let's try to take it. Let, let's go slow first, though. This one looks like it's going to pop right open. Just keep it on anyway, just in case. All right, so let's see what you get inside. Micro USB charging cable. And this is a nice touch right here. Little 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable for non-Bluetooth devices. Old school iPods, old school Sony Walkmans, disc players, all that jazz. All right, got your usual books and shit. Fellas, you know what to do with that. Ladies, read the book. Fellas, file it to the side. Ah, <laughs> oh, ladies, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let's pop this one open and see what it looks like. Okay, real simple looking design right here. All right, less than 30 bucks. Let's check out the button placement on this. You got an on and off physical switch. Probably no charge in this one. I had this one sitting around for a minute. You got your auxiliary in. You got your... USB charging, this is how you're going to charge the speaker up, and you got your battery LED indicator light. So this one has zero juice on it. <laughs> There's also a microphone right here so you can make phone calls with this one. You got your volume up and down, and your answer and end phone calls. Okay, so oots angle, oots angle. Now what I will do real quick, let me just grab one of these portable battery chargers, because I like to do an actual sound test, but um, talk amongst yourself for a second fellas. I like to do a sound test on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this one in. I'll let it charge up for a minute. And by the time we get to the end of the video, we should be able to do a little sound test on this one. All right, so let's, let, let's, let's see if I got any juice in this battery charger. Oh, boy. <laughs> of course, I grabbed the one battery charger that has no juice on it. Keep talking amongst yourself, fellas. I know. I'm killing y'all. I know. Let me, um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Got the Ingress Power Cube. Let me grab the power cube real quick. Live videos, fellas, no editing allowed, unless it's an emergency. So let's plug this one in. Oh, well, here we go. Okay, so I got a little juice now. Maybe we could test this out. Why not? Let's grab a phone and pair it up real quick. Here we go. <laughs> Yep, that's how I do it, fellas. Live videos. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see if we can pair this up. Let's take it. I got the G4 right here on deck. Let's see. Is there a Bluetooth pairing button on this? Here we go. We'll hold down the pairing button. And we'll see if anything pops up. Might not work while it's charging. I don't see any activity. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I'll turn it off, I'll let it charge up for a minute, and we'll get back to this one. All right, so just keep that one in the back of your mind, fellas. Also, if you got OCD, I know you can't stand that kind of stuff right there. Me neither. Me neither. All right, so let's take it to the next speaker on deck. Let me pull up the website real quick and show you guys this one. We got the... Okay, next now, this one I'm, this one I'm actually hyped about. Let me pull out the speaker. The Ari Spark right here. All right, this is the Ari Spark Ultra Portable Bluetooth Speaker. Now, this one is going to run you, this one is going to run you $29.99. It's about 30 bucks. Let's see any key specs, five to seven hours of music time. That sounds good. 
excellent base. Now this one supports micro SD cards. Okay, and also you get 5% discount directly by entering this code right here. All right, so that's important. Let's check now. Let's check this one out. Now, if y'all remember the Ari Spark one I did last time, I was kind of blown away by that one. You know, I never heard of the company. I did that little black one. That one is rugged. It's loud. Had to, had the same thing in the micro SD card slot. It was kind of a go. So that's what made me get this one right here. Okay, now let's look at the key specs. Let's see, uh, support wireless play, one key to reconnect, built-in microphone for hands-free call, support your uh, micro SD cards, all that good stuff. Now, am I going to have to beast this one open? Okay, no, not, not even. Okay. <laughs> I was ready, though. I was ready. Now, this is a nice little, little tray right here. We'll probably use that for an ashtray or something. We'll save that. Some more stuff. Let's see what you get inside, though. Oh, boy, now. Okay, here we go. What's this? Fellas, here we go. Frustration level building up. Okay, okay. I would, you know what? I was trying to uh, rip this off, but the stuff just came right out. Inside. Okay. Micro USB charging port. This looks like, matter of fact, this is two cables. We'll figure that out in a second. <laughs> One of them is for the charger speaker. This one, I don't know what this one is for. Oh, USB. So, all right, so you got USB and one to your speaker. That's cool right there. Little carabiner clip. Extra small. And the actual speaker itself. Now, this speaker got a nice weight to it. Really rugged, really rugged looking speaker right here. And this one is definitely waterproof. Has a little grip on the bottom. See, it won't, it won't even move on the table. If I put it upside down, it'll slide. Put it like this. It don't move. You see it left little rings on the table. So a nice little little suction right there on the bottom. Let's see if we can open this up and see what this is right here. Okay, this is for your micro USB charging port. You see you got speaker all speaker grill all the way around. Here goes your micro USB uh <laughs> your SD micro SD card slot right here. That's kind of cool too, fellas. So this way you don't even have to use Bluetooth. You could just drop your music on the SD card, slap it right in here. Nice tactile buttons on the front. You got your call button, play and pause, Bluetooth pairing, skip and forward. I'm assuming that these going to double for a volume up and down. We'll just have to play with it. And here goes your power button. Okay, so this one is fully charged up in pairing mode. Let's, uh, let's connect it to the G4 real quick. See how long this takes to pair up. Ah, oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Okay, paired up just like that. Now let's do the quick sound test. Y'all know what song is coming. Take it to the SoundCloud. And it, just in case y'all want to know, this is a song I'm using. Shout out to my nephews and all of them. I'm using this song because if y'all watched the last Amazon Warrior episode, you know what happens when you play copyright music. The video, you know, won't be able to be seen in certain places. So I use the same song all the time. This way um, everybody can see it. Let's get some value on this. Now we can play around with the buttons real quick. Okay, so that's playing pause. Works. Okay, that's, that's the value. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's it. All right, that was skip. All right, that was skip. Let's let it play for a second. This one sounds pretty good. Oh. This one has a, look, a nice little bass to it. Oh, she know I'm that nigga. She know that's a fact. She know that's a fact. Southside Jamaica, that's back on the map. Like if you hit shots in the north tonight, purchase the tracks. I purchased the one for the tracks. All right, hold on. Let, let that rock for a second. She know I'm that nigga. She know that's a fact. She know that's a fact. Yeah. No, all right, let me just pause this real quick. Fellas, this one is a go right here. The price for this 30 bucks, you could feel the quality of the speaker. It has a lot of bass to it. Same thing like that other uh, Airy Spark one I had before that I was kind of blown away. This one is hot. I'm going to have to do a little uh, comparison against the Merit speaker, but just off top, I'm, I, I can tell you that this one is going to be better. 
Same basic style and shape as the Merit one. This one looks better though with the camouflage. And you could also drop your micro SD card in here. And it has the phone call feature. Okay, so this one right here is a win. 30 bucks for this one, fellas. I'm feeling this. Let's uh let's <laughs> let's turn this one off. Now I'm not gonna get too deep with all the sound tests and all the features and all of that. I'm just giving y'all a basic idea. These are budget speakers right here though. So they ain't gonna break your pockets. 30 bucks for that. Feeling that. Alright, so let's keep it moving. What we got next? Follow, let's make sure. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Alright. Sound like something in there. What we got next, fellas? Okay, now we got the, the Abco Tech Splash Proof Shower Speaker. Okay, now y'all see me do shower speakers before. We got another one. Abco Tech Splash Proof Shower Speaker. I like all this kind of stuff right here. I like that in, in all of the bathrooms, you got to have one of these on deck. Trust me. Price for this one, $39.99. So $40. Bucks. Now, this one does have some kind of uh, interesting features to it because it does feature an LED screen. And it's 25% uh, off right now if you cop this one. This one has an FM radio built into it, NFC and Bluetooth. And check this out, fellas. Look at that closely. Lifetime guarantee. A lot of companies that give you, you know, 30 days, 60 day, 90 day, even zero lemon with the 180 days, but lifetime guarantee. Yeah, the company might not be around for your whole lifetime, but who cares? I, I, I like how that sounds. Okay, simple presentation on this one. Let's make sure we got everything out of here. Usual books and shit. Lifetime warranty card. File that to the side. Don't lose that. And the speaker. Now, this one is a lot bigger than that last shower speaker I did. A lot bigger. You got three suctions on the back. Here's your power button. Let's see if we got any juice on this one. Okay. A little high. If you can see it, a little high. <laughs> FM radio. You got your forward, skip tracks, play, pause. Now, this one also features uh, the wireless calling, so you can uh, answer phone calls while you're in the shower. Volume up, volume down. And it has a clock on it. Okay, let me... I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> this is not why well, I got to set the time. It's a little bit off, but we'll play with this. Let's see now. Okay, it's already flashing in pairing mode. Let's try to pair this one up and see how it sounds real quick. Let's get to the settings menu real quick. And uh, let's see. Abco Tech just popped up. Says pairing, we'll see. Okay, there we go. Connect it. Take it to the SoundCloud immediately. Bring back the truck. Let's bring back the truck. Start from the beginning. Little plastic right here. We'll take that off later. Maximum value. This is how you charge the speaker right here. Let me stick it on the wall a little bit and see how it's going to sound. This is on the wall. Alright, well, sound quality on this one, not the best. Right, not the best, not even close. The Ari Spark is definitely blowing the sound quality of this one out of the water. But you got to look at it like this. This one does have the suctions built in it. It kind of looks more shower friendly than having this one just hanging up, you know, off a little, get a little suction clip and just hang this off the shower. This one is more outdoor rugged style. This one looks kind of like something that you'll see in the bathroom. And this one does have FM radio. A little bit of features on this one. All right, so that's the Abco Tech. Let's turn it off. Plus, you got the LED uh, display with the clock. Sounds good. All right, so that one right there. What we say for the price on that one? <laughs> price on this one was uh, 40 bucks. 40 bucks, but if you look right here, 25% off. All right, so $40, 25% off. That's good. That, that, that looks good. That looks decent. Remember, fellas, these are budget Bluetooth speakers. We're not looking for, we're not looking for JBL sound quality. All right, we're not looking for, you know, top of the line sound, all y'all audio file cats. These, these ain't those kind of speakers. These are nice little budget speakers, 
probably 75% of these I'm going to give away anyway. But, you know, these are just basic joints right here. Basic joints. All right, so let's see what we got next. So next we got the Go Groove rechargeable Bluetooth speaker with BlueSync TWR. Okay, the Go Groove joint. Now, let's take it to the price on this one real quick. This one is $44.99. All right, let's see if any specs we need to uh, look at real quick. Works with your iPad, works with everything, basically, Bluetooth. Let's see, stream your music wirelessly, stylish design. Mm, okay, basically, oh, well, let's check out the battery. I just scanned it through real quick. Okay, so you got a 1,000 milliamp battery. Okay, let's see how many hours they claiming on that one. Six hours of continuous play. All right, that's cool. Let's take a look at this one real quick. Simple presentation. Really simple, nothing fancy. You know, 40 bucks. I didn't I didn't even I didn't even beast mode yet, fellas. Let's do it. Ah! Right. <laughs> I'm still in beast mode, so don't mind. Okay. Now this one has an interesting look to it. This one has looks kind of like one of those uh, old school tower speakers. Interesting look. On the back, here's your micro USB charging port. You got an auxiliary in and out spot. So for non-Bluetooth devices, let's see did it come with one of those uh, cables. That's the least they could do. All right, here we go. All right, so it did come with the auxiliary in and out cable. Add that to your collection. Here's your micro USB charging cable. And the uh, little book. File it to the side. Here's your buttons now. There goes your, you see the little tactile buttons. That's reverse track, forward track, play and pause. Okay. This looks like volume up and down. And we'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll figure that one out in a second. Maybe that's power. Let's see. Let's find the power button on this one, fellas. On the bottom, you got these two little rubber grooves. Okay. Where's the power button at? Oh, boy. Talk amongst yourself, fellas. I got to find the power button. Yeah, did I miss something? Y'all see a power button somewhere? Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, live videos, y'all. Live videos. Here's the power button right here. Let's see if we got any juice. Mm, there we go. Okay, there's your Bluetooth pairing light right there. Should be in pairing mode. Take it to the G4 and find out. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, let's scan it. My UE Mega Boom must be, I must have left it on. <laughs> oh, Galaxy S6 Edge. Okay, that was it. Let's um let's unpair these two real quick also. Now, the light is flashing. Should be pairing up. I hate to say it, fellas. I might, I might have to take it to the book. I might have to. I might not. But we'll see. Let's hold down that button right there and see. Maybe that's the pairing button. Search it again. Okay, fellas. I hate to do it, but we're gonna have to take it to the book. Where did I file that book at? <laughs> Here we go. Let's take it to the book real quick. Y'all talk amongst yourself for a second. Now this is one of those, one of these kind of books. Let's see. Yeah, that was the pairing button. So this um, this little button right here, that's the that's the pairing button. Okay, I was holding it down. I was holding it down. I should have just pressed it once. I was holding it down. Okay, here we go. Now, fellas, don't don't tell any of the ladies y'all see me take it to the book. Kiana, if you're watching this, I was just kidding. I already knew that. All right, so now it's paired up. Let's do a little sound test on this. Back to the SoundCloud. We'll see how this one sounds. All right, let's get some volume. Make sure we got maximum volume on this. Let's get all the way up. This is not hold down the button. This is just tap the buttons. All right. <laughs> did I did I hit pause? Okay, maybe the battery died on this. Maybe the battery died. Let's try again. You see it just turned off. 
Yeah, I think the battery died. This is another one I had sitting around for a minute. Battery died on it. No more juice. All right, so I'm going to have to charge this one up. Y'all heard a little bit for yourself. Matter of fact, we don't even have to do a full sound. You heard it for yourself. It had a little bit of bass. The sound was kind of, eh, man. It was cool. It was cool. So far, I'm still going with the Ari Spark. This one is cool, though. I don't know. Let's check the price on this one again, though. Let's check. Let's see if there's any discounts on this one. Let me just look real quick. Cause I uh, forty-four dollars for this one. I'm not sure about this one. I'm really not sure about this one. Okay, look now. Look, see, just like that. I did see another one. Now here we go. Three new from nineteen nineteen dollars. Right, so let's check from the sellers real quick and see if they used or brand new. Just got to check these kind of things. Okay, factory sealed, nineteen bucks. All right, so now for twenty dollars, yeah. Okay, now now we're talking. Now we're talking. So I'll throw the link up for that one. Maybe I just clicked on the wrong link. $45, $45 for this one? Nah. $20? Okay. $20? Yeah, now we're talking. $45? Nah. All right, so let, let's take it to the next speaker we got. Let's see what we got on deck. Y'all yeah, know, I, 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 I'm I sorry for these long videos, fellas, but I wasn't going to sit around and make a separate video for all of these budget speakers. Just put them in one video. We got the G Project. G drop. Okay? Now, price for this one $49.99. So $50 for this one. Let's see now. This one is fully waterproof. Fully waterproof and submersible up to 30 minutes. That's cool right there. This is a nice little outdoor pool party speaker. Convenient clip, six hour rechargeable battery, passive radiator, line in jack for non-Bluetooth devices. Basically your standard, your standard stuff. Okay, so this is the G drop. Now y'all remember a long time ago I did the G boom. They do make nice quality. And if you look at the dust on this one, this is another one I had sitting around for a minute. Let me just ah, keep it going. Ah, had this one sitting around for a minute. I think I'm gonna just give this one to my my daughter's little friend. That's actually why I bought it, and then she disappeared on off the set. Now she just popped back up. So I dug this one out. It's always good to have some some gifts on deck, yeah. Because when times get hard, you don't have to worry about spending no money. You always got something in the closet. This one has a little clip built in on the top. Okay, look at this. EQ. Is your Bluetooth. Now, I'm pretty sure this one, let's see if it has any juice. <sighs> no juice on this one. Okay. Let's see. You got a little unlock and lock right here. Let's see what this is for. Let's unlock this. I just locked it. <laughs> I just locked it. Whatever this is, I just locked it. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out in a second. But this one is ultra rugged, though. Super duper rugged speaker right here. Okay, we do have some juice. I was holding down the button. Two LEDs. I need to figure out what this is real quick. <laughs> real quick, because it's kind of eating away at me. Let me grab them. Um, let me grab. Oh, look what I got. The scissors. Let me grab the scissors. <laughs> Let's see if, if I stick something in here, what's going to happen. I'm probably about to break this thing. All right, well, we'll figure it out in a second. We'll figure it out in a second. Matter of fact, here's your USB cable. Here's the book right here. Here's the book. Let's just, um, let's just, we're not going to look at the book. We'll just glance, glance at the book. Let's see if they have a little diagram. We, we could just glance at that real quick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. External jack for front speak. All right, here we go. Look. That's what that little thing is right there. This is your external jack door. Okay, so now, all right, that's, what, that's basically what it is. So your jacks are going to be under there because this is submersible. This is submersible, so you want to make sure you can lock this into place when you know you're going in the pool. Now, I don't see why it doesn't just, it doesn't just pop right open. I got the scissors. I was sticking the scissors in there. <laughs> I have to play with that later, though. We'll play with that later. But, fellas, you get the idea. Let's pair this one up real quick. Let's see. Flashing. Here we go. Okay, there goes the G drop. I'm surprised this one had power as long as I had it sitting around. I think I got this one like maybe in February, March. Okay, it's connected. I hear a little hear a little feedback right there. Take it to the music. Here we go. Okay, here goes. 
<laughs> Shoot me pause real quick. Okay, I forgot to show you two. I just I just caught that at the corner of my eye. He goes plus and minus. All right, value. No, here it goes. I had it the wrong way. Plus and minus, volume up and down. This would be a play and pause and skip. All right, so maybe you know maybe these buttons double. We'll find out. Let's get value. Oh, this one sounds good. Though. It sounds great. A lot of bass. Alright, so that's your play and pause. She know that nigga, she know that was skip. Let's hold it back and see. Alright, so double tap. Double tap this one and you'll reverse it. Press it once and you'll skip. So this is a double button right here. This one right here, I'm kind of feeling though. I'm kind of feeling the sound on this one. This is a lot louder. Don't tell my daughter's friend. I think I'm about to give her this one instead. I'm gonna give give her the go groove. This one is cool right here. I think I'm gonna have to keep this one. Nice little rugged sound to this. We're gonna have to figure this out though. We're gonna have to figure this thing out at some point. I, I hate to give up. Maybe this unscrews all the way. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me look at the book one more time. Me, I'm sorry, fellas. Let me look at the book one more time. I don't know. Now, I know I know. y'all comment trolls. Go, oh, he wasn't prepared for the video. So what, man? So what? This is a lot of videos, man. This is the stuff you're going to have to go through when you get yours. Yeah. All right, now, it just says external jack. Whatever, man. Whatever. I give up. I give up. Let's see. Got an EQ button, too. Let's, let's, let's see what that does. Because one of them I hit, it took out the bass. I hit it again, I hit the EQ button again, and it dropped the maximum bass. Purchase your tracks. Yeah, this, one is, this one is hot right here. You can feel the air coming out the back too. Alright. Yeah, fellas, this one is hot right here. This one is hot. This one sounds better than the Ari Spark. This one is hot. So we'll power this one off. Put that to the side. Now, we do got one more. We do got one more. Matter of fact, I just noticed too. I forgot I bought two of these oomph angles. Let me see if the let me see if the other one is dead also. I think the I think I caught these when they was on sale. And I had these sitting up for a minute. Let's see. Let's see if yeah, definitely. See? Pink version. I think this was for the Christmas grab bag. You know, for all the people that just in case, you know, you got any, any extra visitors that come by. Nobody came by. <laughs> I had no extra visitors. Let's see if we got any juice on this one. Yeah, these been sitting around since Christmas, so I don't expect to have any juice on these ones. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll test the last one. We'll test the last one in a minute. And for my last speaker right here. Now, this one, y'all probably seen already, but I had, I, I had to double up on this one. I had to double up on this one. This is a classic speaker right here. We got the all-terrain sound, rugged camel from uh, rugged camel. Okay, this is from all-terrain sound. Let me show y'all the website real quick. All-terrain sound camel rugged uh, Bluetooth speaker. This one is gonna run you sixty nine ninety five. So this is the most expensive one that I'm showing today. But look at the specs on this one. You're getting fourteen hours of continuous play. It's waterproof and it floats. Tested rugged, uh, rugged eyes, <laughs> rugged eyes durability survives a 10 inch drop onto concrete, Bluetooth 4.0, industrial strength clip. Now, the reason I said this is one of my favorite ones, I actually do have um, a black and orange version of this somewhere, but I can't find it. <laughs> can't find it, but I do have it. Let's just, whoa. <laughs> See, now I try to be nice and use the scissors. That's why you gotta go into beast mode, man. Later for the scissors. Ah! Okay, let's just take a look at this one now. Yeah, I remember this one. I had the black and orange version. This one is sick. Let's see what you get inside. Even the manual is camouflage on this. Yeah, I like how I, how I caught the camera. 
Ah, you get a little manual, nothing fancy. Let's dump this stuff out. Okay, the suction, same as the other one, had the suction. This pretty much is the same one. Another micro USB charging cable for your collection, and another auxiliary cable for your collection. Peel the stick off this. Now, this one is sick. If y'all remember this speaker, I'm going to do a sound test anyway, but I already know this one sounds great. This one also has a little suction, so you could drop this in the shower, fellas. All right, if you're a single fellow, single fellow, and you don't want something like this. Now, this is more like a unisex thing, you know, this is for guys and girls. But if a dude, if, you, if you're a dude and you live by yourself and you just want something mad rugged in the shower, then you get something like this. And you get your camouflage shower curtains and your camouflage bathroom mats and just go all out. But mine's though, the, the black one, I used to use it on my bike all the time until I lost it. But, but this one is a go. Let's check the buttons real quick. Here goes the buttons on the side. Now, this one is water resistant too. So, you got that big flap right there. That's your auxiliary in, your micro USB charging port. Here's your power, volume up and down, play and pause. And also, you see a little phone symbol on there. So, you can make phone calls. And you're skipping reverse tracks. Let's see. Okay, so we got some juice on this one. Let's pair this up real quick. We'll do a little sound test. Okay, you know that some of these pair up quicker than others. That's why I like to do this in real time because you'll see. Look how fast that one paired up. I like that. Let's get to the song real quick. Let me see. Got a bunch of got a bunch of soul group songs. I'm trying to I'm trying to find the other one. Yeah, this one. This one has a nice little bass drop at the beginning early. Go. Let's get maximum volume. So, this one sounds good too. Uh, uh, this one will float. Uh, I usually stand it like this on the table. All right, now this one sounds good. This one has a nice mix, not over, you know, not OD bass, but it has a nice mix of a lot of highs and mids, and you have the bass. Now, not as much bass as the G drop. But this one is a lot smaller and portable. And like I said, this is the one I used to have on my bike. I used to roll around with this. Uh, I don't have it here, but like a like a like a lanyard that I wear around my neck. So what I used to do is I used to have it on the clip on my bike, and I play music while I ride my bike. Then when I get to the park and I want to do my calisthenics, my pull-ups and dips and all that, I used to just put it on on a little string and wear it around my neck. Now when I do when you know this is what I'm talking about in the middle of the night. Now, I usually use headphones if I'm working out and all that, but if I work out in the park in the middle of the night, I don't like to have headphones on because I need to be able to hear my surroundings. I don't want nobody sneaking up on me. So you have something like this, and this is perfect because it doesn't go too loud, so you're not going to be outside, you know, like a douchebag playing music mad loud in the middle of the night. This is like enough, uh, enough sound for a one-man, one-man or two-man party. Especially if you go to the park with your girl, fellas, you know, you, or you go with your boy, whatever you do. You go to the park, you put something like this, and you have music while you do your little tag team calisthenic workout. But this one is ultra rugged and waterproof. Alright, so this is 70 bucks for this one. This one probably has the highest quality out of all of these. Even though, you know, the funny thing is this Ari Spark feels really good though. This one feels really, really good. This might be my second favorite one. So, so far, this is my favorite. Alright, the all-terrain, the Ari Spark. Matter of fact, for sound-wise, I'm going with the G-Buzz. But the Ari Spark is probably the most portable and the uh, best sounding. So this is probably the best deal right here. This one was 30 bucks. This is a great deal. Now, this one here for 20 Like I said, you buy, you know, buy two or three of these and drop them in the closet. Right now, especially, you know, you find it for 20 bucks. Drop these in the closet. It's summertime. You may, nev you may never use it. Just like, you know, like half of these ones I, I didn't use yet. Then when the holiday seasons come around and your pockets start getting tight, you got to start buying gifts for everybody. You got a bunch of these on deck already. These are for the kids. These are for the people at your office that you don't really, you don't really like too much. <laughs> but, you know, you do the grab bag and you got the, you know, $50 budget. You cop something like this. 
and you see they got two on Amazon, one for 20 and one for 44. So, you know, just in case somebody want to double check behind you to see if you're keeping up with the budget, maybe they'll click on the $44 link and say, okay, he didn't, he didn't play me. $20 for this one. Now, real quick, let's see if the oons have enough uh, juice. Let's see if this one has enough, enough juice to actually try out. Oh, boy. Still no juice on the oons angle. I was, I was kind of curious to hear this one. Let's see, maybe, um, yeah, but you see the battery light, it's just off. Let me check my battery charger too, because I had this plugged in. My battery charger might be almost on E. Of course, I'm using the Ingress Power Cube, which I use for the 10 to, what, the 12 hour stream. So, but the light came on, it should have been charging. You see, battery light did come on, it should have been charging. It is what it is. All right, fellas, we're going to have... We, oh, matter of fact, look, I got a little light on the front, though. Got a little light on the front. It's on. Let's try this again now. Let's try this again real quick. Let me turn this one off. All right, let's go into pair mode on the oomph angle. And we'll see. Okay, you see you got a little flashing light. I don't know if y'all can see that little flashing light. Should be uh, in pairing mode. Okay, Oons angle just popped up. All right, so let's test this one out. All right, it says connected. Let's see. Let's get some volume. All right, now, fellas, this one right here is cool. This is actually the cheapest one. Yeah, it did, it did have juice. I was, I was, I was looking for the wrong. I was looking at the mic as an LED light, but the LED light in the front. Let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Yeah, you got a nice big bright LED light. I thought this battery light would be like some kind of indication if it's charged, but I guess that's only when you plug it in. The battery light pops on to let you know that whatever device you plugged it into is actually charging it. That's a nice little touch right here. Now, if you look at the bottom, you got these big four grips, so it's going to keep it in place. 30 bucks for this one. This one is a go. So this, the Oomph Angle is a go. The Ari Spark is a go. The Abco Tech, this one is cool for the shower with the FM radio. I'm feeling that one. The G-Drop. The G-Drop, this one has the most bass. All right, so if you're looking for a budget speaker with a lot of bass, this one got the most bass. And this is a pool speaker right here. This is the beach pool speaker right here because it's fully submersible. The all-terrain, probably my favorite one out of all of these. Just because of the extra ruggedness to this. And, and, and trust me, fellas, I had this one on my bike. And, you know, a lot of times you have stuff clipped on your bike and you forget it's there. Now, I'm not the type of dude that when I get to the park, I pull out the kickstand and, you know, put my bike down nice. I hop off the bike and the bike just fall. Bang, just like that. So my the black one I had, it had a lot of scratches and chips on it and all that. But it just it still looked great. So this one I know for a fact is ultra rugged and it, it definitely does hold up to the test. And this big built-in clip, I'm feeling this one. Only one I'm a little bit iffy about is this one. Now, matter of fact, while we here, while we here chilling, why not? We here chilling. Let's um, let's do another test on this one because maybe I, I don't want to prematurely shut this one down. It might it might have actually been something like maybe I just did something wrong. Let's try this again. Okay, so we'll power this one on. You see, you got that little LED for Bluetooth light, but um, not sure. That's the thing with a lot of these uh, inexpensive products. I don't want to say cheap. <laughs> a lot of these inexpensive pr uh, products, you don't know what the hell's going on. All right, so <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff you just got to figure out yourself. Let's go to Bluetooth real quick. 
let's unpair everything real quick and we'll try this again all right let's see now last time remember when we powered it up it had a little sound I don't there we go all right see now we got a little sound right here let's hit the pairing button pairing up pretty fast well it says connecting so we'll see okay now it's connected let's do a little sound test on this one I don't want to shut it down I want to be fair let's not let's not let's not be like that let's <laughs> let's give it a full chance okay let's get maximum value on this one Oh, this one is loud though. It's actually pretty loud. Oh, you hear all that bass on this? What the hell? <laughs> Yo. Oh, this one sounds good. This one sounds pretty good. You wait for that bass song. Okay, now this one it, it's not bad, especially for twenty bucks. Yeah, now 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 we could now we could talk about this one. You heard all that bass. It's not that crystal clear, deep bass that's you know that's gonna make you like, yeah, this is it. a lot of bass. It, it has a loud bass, but not a deep bass. If you understand what I'm saying, so it's not it's not that deep bass like you heard on the G drop. For twenty bucks, this one is cool though. All right, this one is cool. It does get loud. So now. I'm playing this um, hardcore hip hop shit, but if you play some music, some classical music, or so something, you know, something classy, <laughs> some some classical music or something, this one's gonna be perfect because it's gonna get nice and loud, and it has that tower design to it. Maybe if you had two of these and you had them set up, you know, as computer speakers or something, you know, had to, as you know, make it look like a set of computer speakers on your desk, you know, whatever, whatever. Twenty bucks for this, so yeah, I, I, I'll say this one is a go for twenty dollars. Let's hit the button on the top again. Now is it a let, let's see? Okay, well, that's the thing. Like I said, a lot of these you got to figure. out. I'm holding down the button. You see it still light up. Okay, there it goes. All right, so some of them you tap, some of them you got to hold, some you got to hold for three seconds. You know, when you're dealing with a whole bunch of different speakers, they all different. All right, so you seen them for yourself, fellas. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. All of these right here for the price, they all under seventy bucks. None of these, none of these, I would consider it a, a fail. Now, especially this oots angle, this uh, oots, the oots angle. Now, y'all remember, I, I already showed y'all the other oots. I already know that uh, Cambridge makes great speakers, so that I, I'm not surprised. This one has a nice weight to it. This is the cheapest one, and it's one of the best sounding ones. So, fellas, yeah, def definitely stock up on these. Throw them in your closet, or just you know have one of these on your desk, or be a gentleman and give one to one of your friends. Give one to your daughter or your son and give one to his friend. This way, you know, that's what I like to do. I, I, I'm not going to just give my daughter something right there and her best friend is with, with her all the time. For $30, just get two of them. And then now when they go to a little chili to practice or they, you know, hanging out on that, they both have one. These are dirt cheap, 30 bucks. So you get two of these and you pass them out like hotcakes. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warriors Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, one more thing. Almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters. All y'all trolls. Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces. Oh, yeah. And before I go to one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Now, a lot of people was uh, asking me about that last stream. Shout out to everybody that was really in the stream that night. 12 hour stream. It was kind of crazy. We we did go bananas. We was getting buck wild. We got ultra drunk. But here's the thing. Now, a lot of people said they can't watch it because of the copyrights. And that's um I'm blaming I'm blaming all of the chicks that was in the stream. I'm not gonna uh, Kiana Diamond. 
I, I'm not, I'm not going to name any names, Princess, Jen. I don't want to name too much names, though. But I'm blaming all of y'all. <laughs> Cassie, all of y'all that was in the stream that was getting me turned up, making me play music and all that. And y'all know damn well that you can't play music that's on the radio. You can't play that stuff on YouTube because of the copyright laws. Now, we'll hear it in here in the States and all that. But certain places, like my man just hit me up from Romania. He couldn't watch the video. My man in India, he couldn't watch it. My man in Australia. A lot of countries, they won't, you know, the video wouldn't play. So if you're in one of those countries and you couldn't watch the stream, blame the girls. I don't don't blame me. Blame the chicks because it, they was getting me hyped up to play music. I, 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 yeah, I started with the Chris Brown music, but they, they got me too hyped and I went out of control. So <laughs> now there's a way to get around that. I don't want to say it. Y'all can hit me up. There's a way to get around that. It's real simple. It's a simple way to get around that. It's just something you type in your browser, and then you put the uh, URL for the YouTube video, and you'll be able to watch it. All right, so hit me up in the comments if y'all want to know how to do that, if y'all curious about that stream. But shout out to everybody that was literally in the stream chat. That's why those streams go so long. And that's another question I want to answer real quick, too. A lot of people ask me, why do I do them streams that long? What, am I crazy or something? And the answer is, yes, I am crazy. <laughs> but I told y'all before, I don't put... I don't put a time limit when I'm having fun. If I'm having fun, even though y'all heard me say it, somebody, Josh, I think it was my man Josh, one of one of y'all cats just left me a comment a few minutes ago, was like, yo, I, I told y'all specifically I'm not doing a 10-hour stream. I said, no matter what, I'm not doing a 10-hour stream. I got to go somewhere in the morning. And then, you know, eight hours later, I'm, I'm, I'm still drinking. I'm still partying. I'm partying extra hard. If I'm having fun sometimes, you know, especially it wasn't no life or death thing I had to do in the morning, I just had to uh, breeze that to the side. Right, so for the next stream is Amazon Warrior number 30. That's the 30th anniversary. It's almost been a full year of Amazon Warriors. So next stream for the 30th edition, we're going to do something crazy. I don't know what... I, matter of fact, I'll make a vlog and we'll talk about that later. I'll make a vlog and I will we'll take a drink, <laughs> drink recommendations, which I want to see, which I want to drink and all that, and we'll have some fun. But the 30th an anniversary is going to be crazy. going to be crazy. So you definitely don't want to miss that. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.